All right, guys, this is Jernigam here. More and more people are getting mad by lockdown and all the rules and restrictions are getting ridiculous for a lot of people and some people don't like abiding by rules. It says handling of the new coronavirus restrictions, new and lowest for the government communications. So we're going to, have to be talking about that now in a video and uh, some people are probably confused of this coronavirus. They probably think it's a joke and it's not real. Obviously, it is real because the scientists have said it's real, but... Uh, let me do another video on this one. I'm, I'm spawning you rotten today, guys and girls, with videos. Yeah, there's my partner. Didn't tell me. Let's uh, undo this and uh, explain what's going on here in this video. Some people may like this video and some people may think it's silly, but uh, anyway. Moving on, moving on. Where the sun shone across this vast region. Okay, guys. Yeah. Today, people were out to enjoy it. Last night it sat on other freedoms with just a few hours notice, with even the most sober minds struggling with the new restrictions. It's silly, you can go out and drink with everybody of these people and I know uh, none of these people but I can't go and sit in my mum and dad's back garden. Ridiculous. Do you reckon you could explain the new lockdown rules to me? If the government can explain it to me first and then I can explain it to you. Your mum's 83. I can't go and sit with my mum for a dinner, Sunday lunch, or anyone else can't, and that, no. Make your mind up on lockdown. Last night, a change in thinking made it illegal to meet another household indoors across much of the north, including in homes and gardens, as well as meeting up at pubs, restaurants yeah. or places of worship, with exceptions for single households who formed a support bubble and meeting outside in public in groups of no more than six or two households. Anyone who breaks the rules can be fined £100. Prime Minister, as the rules become more complex, haven't you got to get better at explaining them? Thanks so much, Paul. And this, look, I'm going to put my hands up you know, immediately and say, uh, of course, uh, we've got to make sure that we explain things as, uh, as crisply and as, as clearly as we can. Uh, the only way we can uh, encourage people to behave in one way or the other is through advice. And, and so you're totally right that we need to, uh, to keep it as simple as we possibly can. The problems, not that too many have been leaving their homes, but socialising indoors. There has been evidence of spread of the virus in uh, gatherings in the home, uh, and that is across Greater Manchester, young and old, different communities. So that is why action is needed. The infection rate has been rising across almost all of Greater Manchester. Parts of this skyline have seen it double, triple, even quadruple in a week. But the rise is by no means uniform. Here, where I'm standing in Stockport, for example, it is three times lower than on the horizon in Oldham. I think <laughs> people's understanding of local lockdown would have been individual uh, streets, states, workplaces, for example. Um, this is a much more um, sweeping approach. I want to see a more bespoke approach that looks at the different boroughs in Greater Manchester, considers what's necessary there. For now, families can still find their fun, but these restrictions are a warning not to push it too hard. Paul Brand, News at 10, Greater Manchester. Well, guys, it looks like people are still getting mixed, mixed, um, you know, signs and messages from the government, Boris Johnson, but uh, they're wanting to be a bit more clear about what is reasonable and what is not. But anyway, what do you girls and guys decide on this? Do you want change or do you want it to keep going? That's what I say. Anyway, thank you, Jeremy. I will be back again to do more videos. See you later. Bye.